Hey everyone, it's Eric Plattenberg. Most of you have heard me mention a woman who's been incredibly influential in my life. Her name is Byron Katie. And as I'm sitting here today, one of Katie's lessons is ringing exceptionally true. So Katie says that there's three types of business in the world. There's your business, other people's business, and God's business. So we're going to talk a little bit about God's business today. God's business is basically all of those things that just happen. They're the things that are completely out of your control and they're out of the control of other people. You know, some days you've got that perfect picnic planned and then it rains. Or you've got something else going on and then a twist of the universe just simply spins a little bit out of the direction. Well, so the next couple of weeks prepping into the holidays, I, we have an incredible amount of cool stuff planned in our family. We're going to be going to Wisconsin, seeing family. I'm doing two programs, one in Toronto and one in Wisconsin. And this whole awesome series of meetings and people that I'm going to be meeting with is all set up. And then the sweet little angel in our world, the three-year-old May, now has what it looks like to be chicken pox. So our entire trip, obviously we're not going to take the three-year-old and the family on an airplane with, uh, with chicken pox. So this is a great example of where you can make the best plans, you can really get things set up in your life, all the ducks are in a row, and then either at the last minute or because something just doesn't go as planned, everything changes. And that's normal. I've heard this said many times that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% what you make of it. And I think that that's really true. So a lot of people do ask, well, you know, how do you stay positive in a situation like that? Or how do you look at the bright side of things? So I don't mean to be melodramatic about, about life at all, but what I do do is I allow my mind, if my mind's going to travel, which it does, and I'm imagining that yours does too, I'm going to let it travel to places that are inspiring me or that are supporting me. So it's really easy to, when things go wrong or when a twist or a turn kind of wrecks all the plans that you have, you know, to feel like the world is against you or to feel like, you know, basically things are just not lining up for you. Well, what, it was, what if it was the exact opposite way? And again, I don't want to be super melodramatic, but what if that airplane that we were going to get on would have crashed? What if the meetings that I would have had would have turned out horribly? What if the, the family time would have led to somebody getting sick, like the baby having, you know, being contagious, and then my 93-year-old grandmother getting ill? So, you know, I just know, I just know really deep down inside that when things have a twist of fate, that it's always in my advantage, that there's something that's looking out for me and, you know, for me, that's God, and I see that. And if, if you don't believe in God, that's awesome, too. Then just think about it as the universe is conspiring in your favor. I really experience that, at the very least, that perception will help me to create the next thing that's going to work out. You know, life really is always a mystery. You never know what's going to happen day to day. So you might as well, might as well have fun with it as you go. So I hope that's helpful. Have a fabulous week, and I'd love to hear any of your stories about where a twist or a turn in, uh, in the cosmic grand scheme of things actually worked out in your favor as well. Have a fabulous week.